Hi everyone and happy Halloween! Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that this video will be quite fun. Um, I'm wearing my costume. If you see, I'm a... you can guess. Yeah, right. I'm a million dollar baby. But, you know, unfortunately Clint Eastwood did not really agree to star in this video for YouTube. So I think about actually changing the costume. Okay, like that's probably much better, I hope. And in today's video we'll talk about the topic which is closely related to Halloween. It's carnival! And not just carnival, but Bakhtin's carnival. If you don't know who is Bakhtin, it was a Russian scientist and researcher and specialist in semiotics who he never think himself to be. But he did inspire many other researchers who do agree on the fact of being semioticians, such as Roman Jakobson and Lotwan. And the main one, of course, Julia Kristeva! Yes, I know, you probably don't know all these people, but trust me, if one day you go to study basics of philosophy or maybe even uh, literature studies, then trust me, you will have at least one lecture about Bakhtin and maybe this video could be useful for you to use your knowledge on the exam. But this video can be useful not only if you study literature, but also if you're trying to understand why Halloween is so appreciated by students and Erasmus people, which is basically the same thing. But actually, I think uh, now it's not like really a Halloween costume, it's more, I don't know, Instagram costume, isn't it? So, what about some alterations? Welcome, you are watching Unpodaria show and she is very, very happy to have all 56 subscribers. She is so happy that she cannot even express because who wants to listen about semiotica? Hey. So now we can finally talk about Bakhtin. First, he was a Russian philosopher and a researcher in literature who was researching on Rabelais novels and he found out several very interesting concepts, several concepts which were very important for the literature and which are still actually there, you know, like 80 years after. Not so many <laughs> discoveries stay in the world of science for that a long time. But one of his findings, a part dialogism or polyphony, which was very much used in works of Julia Kristeva, which is one of the biggest feminists of 20th century. A part of this he was talking about carnival. And carnival was very important concept in the Middle Age when actually all the class hierarchies were destroyed and given to the fate of the nature when the clown was able to become a king and king did not value anything anymore. If you are familiar with the history of Halloween, you probably know that originally it doesn't really presume to be a costume party. But uh, on the other hand, it is one of the versions of Middle Age Carnival, which celebrates quite pagan tradition. When? Actually, you know, in Middle Age, Christian church was there not really allowing people to having fun this way. I know, my dear friends, you're probably wondering what the relationship between Middle Age Carnival and all the skin relationships with the, the peasants. In our world full of democracy and equality? Well, actually, if you thought that hierarchy did end back in school, you probably living in a very good conditions because hierarchy exists even today. And also such a thing as a social norms, which actually not that easy and very much influence all the idea of hierarchy, well, it's actually very hard to understand what is actually influence what, but they definitely two parts of one coin. 
You know, when I was young and beautiful, my favorite characters to be on Halloween were Joker and Charlie Chaplin. And when my brother did watch my pictures from the Halloween, he was like, what the heck, it's the only day in the year when you can dress like a slut and you dress like a man? What's wrong with you, Daria? And you know, actually, my first wish to dress for this Halloween was costume of Sheldon Cooper. But unfortunately, I guess I would not be able to convince my husband to dress as Amy Farrah Fowler. From this beautiful and very strange example, we can understand that obviously idea of carnival has not only subtext of studying literature, because most of the people even don't read books nowadays, which not obviously a very bad thing, but it has very deep psychological and even political aspect. However, the idea of carnival gives you possibility of not being yourself and being someone else who you probably really want to be. And it presumes not only wearing a costume, but also possibility of growing in your social hierarchy or going just to the step where you secretly want to be. And you know what? It has very much connection with Game of Thrones, surprisingly. You know why we all love Game of Thrones so much? It's just because Game of Thrones gives us possibility to leave our inner secret taboos behind and start new life full of things which we actually want to do. So... I'm not saying that everyone wants to kill mother of dragons or sleep with a brother or do any other very nasty stuff, but I'm saying that the idea of social norms and prohibition and even social hierarchy in the society did not really change from medieval times to nowadays. And actually, thanks for the arts and for the self-expression most of the people let their demons go just by wearing a costume and not by doing bad things. My dear friends, this is everything for today. And now go and let your demons out because it's Halloween. And I'm not really believe in the ideological part of the, this celebration, but I do believe that it's an amazing way to make new friends and explore this world and maybe also new sides of yourself. If you like this video, subscribe and put your thumbs up, down the way you want. But write me a comment and I promise we will see each other soon. And may the semiotics be with you. I'm sure I'm doing actually... Spanish accent.